Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and the last video that we uploaded was about the two-year, I guess, retrospective of Halo Infinite, everything that's happened in the past two years, and how we've gotten to this point. And in that video, I talk about how, at the very end, what is the future of Halo Infinite? And I said that it was still cloudy, we don't really know what's going to happen with, you know, if there's going to be campaign DLC or an expansion or anything like that. If they're just getting it into a place where the community basically is running it by themselves and then they start allocating resources to the next game. And wouldn't you know, that same day that I uploaded that video, Sketch was on a podcast where he basically confirms all of the things that I was kind of worried about, such as campaign DLC is not being developed, and that a year ago, 343 decided to double down on the multiplayer side of Halo Infinite, and that 343 is looking towards the future of Halo after Halo Infinite, or I guess a game besides Halo. Maybe Halo Infinite stays as the multiplayer side of what Halo is, and we start getting more single-player focused games aside from that. Talks about how they're hiring people and whatnot, but there won't be any huge announcements about a new Halo game for a while. But before I get into the video, I'm going to play the clip right now. It's a minute long, so if you just want to skip forward, you can, but here it is. We have nothing to announce today yeah. regarding any campaign content for Infinite. I'll, I'll even go a step further and tell you right now there's nothing in active development on that front. Um, you know, we made the decision uh, was just over a year ago to really double down on improving the multiplayer product, going after the key sort of sentiment issues and feedback items from the community. And that's, um, I definitely don't think Halo's best years are behind us. I think there are a lot of really cool, exciting things on the horizon. Some, some things are further out. Folks that have been kind of keeping a keen eye might notice that we've started sort of posting some job job postings again. Um, I mean, the, the, the winds are blowing. We are starting to, to look ahead to the future. Um, I don't think we have anything to say on that front for quite a while, but, you know, I mean, Infinite, as good as it is, and as more great things there are still to come, um, the studio has ambitions that, that reach beyond Infinite, and I'm very, very excited and energized to sort of take all the cumulative 25 years and all the learnings from Infinite and, and apply that to what could be next. And Mr. Rebs actually tweeted out a video clip of this, and Duncan Donald's replied underneath that with a tweet poll saying next campaign win with 2030 or further beyond that being the winner. So that would be seven years or more. I think that would be absolutely insane. Now, all this being said, I feel like there's a lot of alarm bells going off for people and they do think that, you know, Halo Infinite is just going to be left behind and forgotten about after, you know, a season or two now. But I don't necessarily think that that's true. I definitely think that you can have a multiplayer team and then a team that's dedicated to, you know, single player campaign ambitions. But again, it it's going to be a while before we get anything. All this being said, I do wonder if that certain affinity game mode is going to basically hit the back burner or be completely changed and they're going to help with something else. If they're going to put all their eggs in the next campaign basket. Who really knows, except for the people inside that studio? I know that we have talked about the Unreal Engine, you know, Switch a lot on this channel, and I still don't know if I am excited for that because, like, playing Firefight with the new networking model, it just feels so good to shoot things in Halo and its current engine, and I just wish that they could have really dialed into, you know, just optimizing that. But I guess we'll see what happens. Personally, I would be super excited for more single-player spin-off games. You know, like Halo Reach version 2 or ODST 2 or any, you know, the Halo flood, scary, spooky horror game. Any of that stuff would pique my interest. And then as long as they keep supporting Halo Infinite's multiplayer side of things, I would be fine with that. I'm still looking forward to a, you know, single-player Jerome-focused story with Isabel. We can dream. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick little update. I would like to know how you all feel about this. If you're, you know, kind of scared. If you think that this means that they're going to stop supporting Halo Infinite further. Or if we really are, like, almost a decade away from seeing another Halo, you know, single-player game. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. It greatly helps me out in the algorithm. We're grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers. I know 90% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so just hit that sub button, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!